Before Hurricane Helene made landfall, several cities and municipalities declared local state of emergencies. It's a typical government action so that funds can be made available to repair any storm-related damage. But one local city's declaration has since raised some eyebrows and received a lot of backlash from gun advocates. So at some point, people are really going to have to learn that you cannot trust your constitutional rights to the government. I need all of y'all to really listen to this. Whenever it's convenient for the government, they will trample all over your rights. They'll two-step, moonwalk, duggy, right over them without a second thought, especially when it comes to your Second Amendment rights. The police department here owning up to their mistakes, saying that they issued the wrong declaration last week, which included a gun ban. And even though they terminated that order after noticing that error, critics are fighting back. They are calling it unconstitutional, and we're told city officials are looking into it. This is a local state of emergency public notice from the city of Okeechobee that's gaining a lot of attention on social media. Firearms Policy Coalition, a gun rights organization based in California, posted it on X, calling out the police department for adopting the order last Thursday, which includes banning the sales of guns and ammo and prohibiting firearm possession in public by anyone other than law enforcement or military members. It was signed by Police Chief Donald Hagan ahead of Hurricane Helene's arrival. Well, y'all probably know by now that Hurricane Helene just slammed into the coast of Florida. And for those of you who have ever experienced the aftermath of a hurricane, you know it's not just a storm you have to worry about. You lose power, access to food, water, shelter becomes unstable, and often emergency services are stretched thin or completely unavailable. So in moments like these, you're on your own. There's no calling 911. There's no police coming to save you. You're responsible for your own safety. And what does the city of Okeechobee decide to do right before a Category 4 hurricane slams into the state? They ban the sale of firearms and ammunition. Yep, that's right. No guns, no ammo, when people are probably going to end up needing them the most. The absolute irony here is beyond words. People will possibly be on their own with no emergency services available. And the first thing the government does is make it harder for law-abiding citizens to defend themselves. It's not like criminals are taking a break during a hurricane. They still have their guns. They're not walking into stores asking politely for ammo. Meanwhile, the guy who realizes he's completely vulnerable, yeah, he's screwed. This is why I came out with the design, I am the militia. Because the government can say what they want about keeping you safe. At the end of the day, you're the only one responsible for your safety. And the people are the ones responsible for coming together to protect this country if our government becomes tyrannical. So yes, we, you, I am the militia. So if you believe in this and you understand what the essence of the Second Amendment means, hit the link in the description section of this video and grab your I am the militia hat, shirts, drinkware, and our new premium embroidered hoodie. Now, for the people who conveniently forget when tyrannical shit happens, let us not forget what happened in New Orleans 2005 after Hurricane Katrina when the government went door to door confiscating guns from law-abiding citizens for their own safety. No one will be able to be armed. We yes, will sir. take all yes, weapons. Sir. All of a sudden, they were banging on the front door, the side door, and the back door, and they said, let us in. Patty tried to explain. She was on dry land, she had plenty of food and water and didn't want to abandon her dogs. But it didn't matter. If you see six or eight police that look like linebackers pushing you in a corner, you're, you're in shock. I'm saying, look at all my food. I got plenty of food. They kept pushing me back, pushing me back, and ended up like this. Then, Patty showed them a small revolver she was carefully holding in the palm of her hand. A camera crew was there to capture what unfolded next. I said, it's not even loaded, and I dropped it on the floor. You got a gun. Well, they punched me in the face. Look at my black and blue marks. Look at, look at what they did to me. They dragged me out of here. I really thought they were going to kill me. I really did. Let me repeat that. The government took away the only means people had to protect themselves during one of the most lawless times in U.S. history. I did a whole video on it. We had identification. We were coming back from a house that we were taking the weapons out of so criminals wouldn't break in and steal them. And we've had uh, policemen tell us that that's what they wanted us to do. 
but not the sheriff in St. Tammany. They just wanted to confiscate them from us. We felt like criminals at the time. And now, here we are again. Florida, of all places, where everyone has guns. The Okeechobee police chief thought it was a good idea to make it harder for people to defend their homes and families. And what reason do they give? What justification? They just wanted to make it safer, they say. Safe for what? Safe from the people trying to defend themselves? Now, according to the FPC, Governor DeSantis stepped in and said, not today. He told the Okeechobee Sheriff's Office to rescind the order. If this is true, I applaud him for that. I truly do. But the fact that this even happened in the first place is the real issue. And let me be real with you for a second. If Governor DeSantis hadn't acted so quickly, we might have seen even worse restrictions, maybe even firearm confiscation like after Katrina. Don't think it could happen? It absolutely could. And it's more proof that the government will come after your rights the minute they think they can get away with it. And to those of you who say, no one's trying to take your guns, or we just want common sense gun laws, where are you now? You don't hear a peep from these politicians when this happens. They don't condemn these unconstitutional acts. They stay silent because they don't really care about your 2A rights. So here's my message. Don't think this kind of thing only happens in places like California and New York. It happened in Florida, a state known for its strong gun culture, and it can happen anywhere. That's why we fight so hard against every gun law they try to pass, because when it comes down to it, they don't want you to be able to protect yourself, and that's the cold, hard truth. So, what do you think? Do you think what they did here in Florida makes sense to you? Are you somebody who feels like, well, yeah, maybe we should, you know, restrict buying guns and ammo? Or are you one of those people who are like, no, nah, this is unconstitutional as hell and they shouldn't be doing this? Let me know what you think in the comment section below. And don't forget to hit the description section and click the link and grab your I Am The Militia shirts, hats, drinkware, and premium embroidered hoodies.